Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and this week uh, in my tutorial series, we're going over this fantastic little plugin called World Border. Uh, I found it helpful as one of my users, two of my users actually, decided to just trek in the same direction for about an hour, which exploded the size of my map and my backups. So we found this plugin. It, it basically will put a border around whatever world you want. It can be set up specifically per world. You can have a circle or you can have a square. It also will then allow you to automatically fill in the area within the world or trim areas outside of the world, kind of managing the size of your world. The fill is fantastic because it will reduce on leg if you're having trouble with that with people wandering you know just so that it will generate it all at once and then um you won't have lag as people explore the world so let's get into it there's really not much in the configuration file you can modify stuff but you can modify it all in game as well what you want to do the first thing is just do slash wb and it's actually going to bring up uh the list of commands that you want the first one we're going to do i think by default it's set to elliptical or circle we're going to do uh, shape and then uh, we're just gonna do square because that's how I roll and uh, so default border is now set to square now what you want to do it's really easy you do D you can uh, specify the world you want but you're gonna do WB set and then we're just gonna do like 50 I guess let's do a hundred might as well you can set like the Z X all that stuff but we're just gonna do by the default there we go. So now uh, what is seen is we're just gonna go in one direction and we should run into the border here anytime now. There it is. So you reach the edge of the world. It's kind of cool. Even the ops are restrained to it. Uh, the only way that you can bypass it is if you do world, world border or WB bypass and then cause for Christ on. So now, now that that's enabled, I can then go past it. Um, but as soon as the server restarts, that, that goes away. So what you can do is actually add people the permissions uh, world border dot bypass and then they'll always be able to bypass it. Just kind of a brainstorming idea with that. You can maybe if you want to do like a, a trial period for new users like they're restrained to the town uh, for like an hour or something like that and then they can grow, uh, go out. That's using like auto rank and then bypass. But that's how that goes. Uh, let's go over some little more complex uh commands here so you can do wb list and then it's going to tell you the border of everything uh that you have set borders on and then here's the one that i'm talking about wb uh fill the frequency is how quickly it goes so by chunks per second uh, i think the default is 20 chunks per second um let me double check that one frequency yeah default is 20 um which is all right if you can hit that do that higher but you're going to have a lot more lag for a shorter period of time hopefully um or you could do like one chunk per second or five chunks per second to reduce on lag but it's going to take longer to do it and then the pad value which isn't required by default it's 208 chunks that's just how far outside of the border it's going to generate because by default when people go to the edge it's going to generate how far they can see so by default that's 208 um you can then do like a wb wrap world on um that is like where you walk to the edge instead of being knocked back you just get transported to the other side which is kind of cool um i don't do that but you know uh, you could, that's pretty fun. You can turn the knockback effect, you know, that whoosh sound on or off. And then you can do w get message. So that's the one you can set it to whatever you want. You cannot, oh, here we go. <laughs> Shall not pass. So then uh, when you get to the edge, that's what it says. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, you don't have to do anything in in the middle of or you don't have to do anything in the configuration that's how it goes then there's this fun stuff called dyn map um that's using another plugin that goes to a web interface so that you can see the world um you can change how far back they get knocked back uh what's the default let's do 10 10 blocks so 
there we go. See, now it knocks you back farther. Um, and then let's see, what else we got? I think that's all set bit, set, uh, yeah. That's all it is. When you do set the border, it's gonna be um, what every you know, hundred. Like I did a hundred, so it's a hundred directions in every or a hundred blocks in every direction centered on you. Um, that's it. It's a fantastic little plugin. You could use it in your prison servers. You can use it on whatever server. I use it on my townie server in every world just to force people to like explore the known universe in there. Um, there's also oh yeah, I did not go over trim. So the trim. Uh, the trimming is like if you've had a world that you don't have this on and you want to set the border smaller, so you set the border smaller then there's a bunch of generator chunks outside of it, you can trim that stuff off. It reduces the 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 size of your, your world. So that's it. Pretty easy. Um, I think that's all I got. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out to do more of these. Um, and if you have a plugin request, put that in there. I'm uh, compiling a list. I'm always looking for new plugins to do a review on and use. So this is Cosmic Friends, and as always, enjoy the game. Oh, nice. Yep, she's in here. And <laughs> oh jeez! With the crap. Okay. Stuck. Okay. Well